Hey guys, so today I am sitting in front of Home Goods and I want to kind of refresh one of my bathrooms. So I'm looking for some more um, little small things to place on the shelves and things like that. Um, I also never really finished my loft area. So I'm going to run into Home Goods just to see what they have. Um, I haven't really figured out like what direction I want to go yet. but So I just want to go and look around for some inspiration. So I thought I would take you guys with me. Um, yeah, so we have about 45 minutes before we have to pick up Bryson. So let's run in and see what we can find. I feel like the seasons pass by so fast. We're already in spring in the stores. So pretty. I love this. This is so pretty. $34.99. Into the pinks. So this is really cute for Easter. It could be like a centerpiece. Um, if you put it on the table like this. Or it could be a wreath. But there are some pieces that are like already peeling. So I wouldn't get that. But it's really pretty. I like the colors. This is really cute. It's cute and girly. <laughs> so pretty. I like this one too. Look at these Rachel Zoe bowls. That is so cute. I really like that. And it's only $10. Super cute. And then they also have like the whole set. So you have plates. I wish it was black instead of brown. But yeah, they have the plates. $4.99 for the plate. The um a tray. Bamboo contains bamboo powder and melamine. Okay, that's nice. This little taco stand is cute. It's $4.99. That's so cute. So they have these little syrups that you can use in your cocktails or mocktails. They have the mojito, Meyer lemon, and then um, the strawberry. What is that? Oops, let me move it back. Um, strawberry, lemon, lime. And I think that's the only three flavors they have. These are also really cool. These are like pre-mixed. Uh, like it's like a mixer for your beverage. But um, this one is the original mojito. And you just need to add rum. Um, but it has. Okay so it has dried lemon and lime slices. Mint leaves. Um, and then artificial colors added. So that's not good. But it looks cute. And it's $7.99. And it comes with a little strainer. So that's pretty cool. They also have the strawberry daiquiri. And then they have. This, is, this one's called Bora Bora Paradise. Let me put it down here. See if it'll focus better. Yeah Bora Bora Paradise. Just add vodka. Pina Colada, Tom Collins, and the Cosmopolitan. Oh, and they also have the small syrups with the ginger, strawberry, and mojito. This is kind of cool. I think I'm going to get this because I don't need a big one. This is cool. This vase is cute. I think it's like $6.99. Not bad at all. This is not really the style I have in my house, but it's cute. I only miss you when the sun goes down. 
So I'm back from Home Goods and they didn't have anything that I intentionally went into the store for. But of course I found some stuff that I like, you know. So I'm gonna show you guys what I found. So the first thing I got was this ice cube mold. Um, it's for the larger cubes. And I wanna kinda do like some cute waters, mocktails, stuff like that. Um, so I grabbed this. Um, I'm pretty sure they also have this on Amazon. So if I can find a link for you guys, I'll link this below. Um, but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them. Just a silicone mold. But I kind of want to do like different waters. Um, but also just have the cute little ice uh, to kind of infuse it. So like lime and mint or lemon, lemon, lime and mint or ginger, things like that. So I think it would be cool to just kind of like freeze those and drop them in with water or even with sparkling water. Mm. And then also I got these beverage mixers. I think I showed you guys in store, um, they have the bigger bottles, but they also have these minis. And because I don't make like drinks that often, I thought the mini was cool. But it comes with mojito, ginger, and the strawberry, I think it's strawberry lemon lime. Yeah, so even on the back they said you can add the mixer to sparkling water and liquor if you choose to do so and drink over ice. So I think I'm going to do use this to make like some mocktails, um, even cocktails. But um, this week I think I want to do like some fun mocktails, especially for Valentine's Day. So I think that'll be cute. So you guys know Valentine's Day is coming up and I know some people don't really get things for their man or their husband on Valentine's Day, but I always try to do something cute. So I think I'm gonna put together some type of like box or basket um, with like all his favorite things. I usually go that route for Valentine's Day um, just to keep it simple, cute, and very like intentional. So I picked up a couple of things that I know that I wanted to put in there. The first thing is these peach rings. That's one of my husband's favorite candy, but he's not a big sweet candy eater. So I didn't want to get a huge bag. So I got these. Um, you guys know Home Goods, Marshalls, they always have these cute little things. And I like that they're very soft, so I know they're not gonna be stale. <laughs> Nobody wants a stale peach ring, so got those. So I also got my husband this candle for his office. Um, it is amber and bergamot. It smells so good. So good. It smells like something that he will wear like in a cologne. But um, it's vegan soy wax blend poured in California. It says our scented candles are blended with blended and poured in small batches in sunny Orange County, California. Each candle is made with essential oils and quality um phylate free perfume oils and this is a nine ounce candle but yeah it smells really good i know he'll like that so i'm gonna put these two things aside for his little valentine's day package so the last thing i got was this candle here and this is the black fig and neroli this is an artesian candle, a uh, soy wax candle poured in Spain. Mmm, fancy. <laughs> yeah, this smells really good too. I got this kind of like just for like a um, room scent. So, smells delicious. Not really like delicious, but it just smells like fresh. Um, I think this will be good in the kitchen actually. So, I got that. I'm going to probably replace the candle that I have in my candle holder with this one. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got from Home Goods today. Um, I am going on a trip this weekend to Palm Springs and I love the Home Goods in Palm Springs. So I'm probably gonna go there as well. So I wasn't really like too upset that I didn't find anything that I wanted. I also do wanna go back because they have a lot of Easter items and my son Kendon loves Easter. He loves bunny rabbits and stuff like that. So I think I wanna take him back to home goods and let him pick out some Easter decor. Um, Cause they had a lot of different bunnies, but I want him to kind of pick the one that he likes um, so that, yeah, he can kind of help decorate. So we'll probably do that another day this week. But right now I'm getting ready to grab something to eat really quickly. And then I'm gonna go out um, because my son has speech therapy today. And that is in like 30 minutes. So I'm on the run as usual. 
So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make a little bit of breakfast because I did not get to eat and it's almost 12.30, so let's get to it. I've been taking on all this baggage, adding on so much weight. Had me thinking that I was average when you really don't play. We are on a little mini vacation. We are in one of our favorite places, Palm Desert. Yeah, so we're going to the pool today because it's actually nice out because today. It, because it was my plan. It's about 71, 72, but the sun is shining, so it feels great. And we're gonna go to the pool. It's February, and we're on our way to the pool. So let's go. So we got lunch, got some pita chips, got ooh, hummus, carrots, and celery. We got, I think these are the fries and chicken fingers. Oh no, I don't like chicken fingers. Oh, we got fries. Strips. No, I don't like chicken. Strips. Okay, you don't have to eat the chicken, just eat the fries. And then we got some wings. Lunch time. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, we had a great day at the pool yesterday with the kiddos and last night we just chilled, watched movies, made cookies, all that good stuff. Um, and today we are out. This is Valentine's Day weekend and we are, since we're in Palm Springs with my parents as well, um, my parents are gonna watch the kids this afternoon while we go have brunch for Valentine's Day. We're celebrating early. Um, when you have kids, you just gotta make it do what it do, okay? So this is the day that we have to go out and we're gonna take advantage of it. So we are at this restaurant called Booze Hounds. Um, it's supposed to be really popular here in Palm Springs. So let's go check it out and see what it's giving. Um, it looks really cute from the outside. This is also a dog friendly play place. Um, but we don't have a dog, so hopefully it's not too many dogs here. So we'll see uh, what it's looking like. But yeah, let's go. Alright, we have an 
Aperol Spritz. I try it. So here they don't do bottomless mimosas, they do bottomless Aperol Spritz. So we got the Aperol Spritz, but I don't think I'm a fan. It's like kind of like has like a bitter aftertaste, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I don't think I like it. I wonder, 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 wonder. We changed our seating because this is a dog friendly restaurant on the patio and we were like in the atrium which is kind of like indoor outdoor and we didn't know that dogs came up there as well and there was a couple dogs so it was fine but then someone came in with four dogs so it just got a little uncomfortable so we decided to move inside and it's so cute over here too. I'll show you guys. So we just finished brunch. It was actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me in there, but we moved tables because this is a dog friendly restaurant and we knew that. Um, but it looked really cute. The food was good, looked good, had good reviews. So we decided to come. When we first sat down, we were thinking that the play, the area that we were sitting in was not where dogs were gonna be or allowed or whatever. Cause it was like an atrium where it's indoor outdoor. So as we sat there, <laughs> One uh, couple came in with their two dogs and that was fine. Their dogs were like, you know, just hanging out. Then another couple comes in with four dogs. That's where I had to draw the line. And those dogs were like not chilling. They were much rowdy, more rowdy. I asked the waitress and she- Starting route to Marriott's Shadow Ridge Eye, she, villages. <laughs> and she moved us inside with no issues and the inside was just as beautiful as the outside so if you guys are in palm springs or palm desert area i highly recommend booze hounds the drinks were good the food was good don't get the aperol spritz i don't like that but the margarita that i got was good the sangria was good he didn't care too much for the mar sangria but i thought it was great um very refreshing and the staff was nice so yeah now we're about to head back to the hotel to take the kids to the pool let's go back home from our Valentine's weekend and today is actually Valentine's Day so I just showed you guys a couple of clips of what my husband got me for Valentine's Day I'll show you guys the details in a second but yeah we had such a good time on our trip um, we were there to celebrate my parents anniversary but it was also Valentine's Day weekend so we were able to get away for a little bit um, and go to brunch um for it so that's how we celebrated basically because we do have two kids and it's my parents anniversary so they were kind enough to watch the kids for a few hours while we went to um brunch and then we went back and spent family time so like i said today is valentine's day and i'm getting ready you guys know if you're new here i'm a room mom for my six-year-old son's um classroom and so I am in charge of like coordinating all of the parties and things and such. So today we're doing a Valentine's Day party. We're keeping it pretty simple because it is a Tuesday. Um, but I did get some cookies for the kids. Some of the other parents are bringing like pizza, juice boxes, things like that. So we kind of like divide and conquer. We have a couple of activities for them. And then I also made goodie bags for my son's class. I'll just show you guys everything that I have. And then we're going to get out of here because I want to go get coffee before I have to go up to the school. And then I have to um, give my dad um, some things for my youngest son because my dad is going to have to pick up my three-year-old from school because I'll be with my six-year-old. So yeah, let's just get started, okay? I've done a lot of talking. Let's just get started. 
So I showed you guys an overview of what my husband got me, uh, these beautiful flowers. I love how it was like one from each. So this one's from Bryson, this one's from Kendon, and then my husband got me my favorite white roses. I just put them in the vase. And then he also got me a Burke Williams, he also got me a Burke Williams gift card uh, for a facial and I believe a 90 minute massage. I'm really excited about that. It's, I'm definitely long overdue. So I will be seeing them very, very soon. And then he also just got me like some of my favorite candies and a beautiful card. So I love Skittles. I'm a Skittles girl, specifically the purple bag. And then he also got me some Reese's miniature cups. And I like that they're these so that I don't try to just eat the whole bag. <laughs> and then also some hot tamales. So I'm so excited about these little snacks, but I'm supposed to be trying to lose weight. So we're going to see. We're going to see. And then over here we have the gift bags that we did for Kenyon's class. Um, they just have some pretzels, a um, Valentine's card that he hand wrote, all of them, and some fruit snacks. And I have two boxes because in this box, these are ones that say like BFF, um, or there's like a big hero card. So I kind of separated them so that he can give those to like his specific special friends. And then for the class, his teachers uh, specifically requested these Loft House um, Valentine's cookies. So I got three boxes of those. And then I also got, um, his teacher doesn't really like chocolate. So we got her a gift card for Trader Joe's because that's what she likes. And I'm just going to put all this stuff in the car and we're going to get ready to go. Okay, so we got the errands done. Um, I definitely went and stopped and got coffee. That was first. <laughs> and then I stopped at C's Candies because um, my three-year-old, he has, I don't know how many teachers he has. He has one teacher, but there's like four aides. So I wanted to um, get them something and I wasn't sure exactly how many there are because um, he's new here and um they re never really said how many aids they had. So I just went and got a box of the Seas Candy Lollipops. And I'm going to just, um, I got a bunch of the little bags. Ooh, it's so bright. But yeah, I got a bunch of the little bags and I'm just going to um, divide them up like this. So that um, there's enough for everybody. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna do this really quick and then my parents are here to pick up my son. Uh, my three-year-old, they're here to pick him up. So I'm gonna hand this over to them and then I'm gonna go to my oldest son's class. So I need to do this really quick so I can get in there. So let's do it. Hey guys, so it is much later. We had a great time um, at the school for Kenyon's classroom party. Um, then I went to go pick up Bryson and we came back home and went through all of his Valentines. Some of them are still there. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vacation slash Valentine's vlog. Um, today is still Valentine's Day, but we're gonna end the night just having some sushi and relaxing, I already showered and have on my pajamas. I just took my hair down for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to wrap it up for the night. So hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's, Valentine's Day weekend slash whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you can get more weekly vlogs just like this one. And give me a big thumbs up, share with a friend and I'll see you guys next time, bye.